the smaller discourse on deployment chula viha sutta settled each in his own view contending the skilled make diverse assertions one who knows this has understood the dhamma rejecting this one is not consummate having contended thus they dispute and say the opponent is a fool unskilled which assertion among these is truthful for they all claim to be skilled if one who does not affirm the opponent's doctrine is thereby a fool a brute deficient in wisdom all indeed are fools utterly deficient in wisdom for all these are settled in their views but if by their own view they are cleansed pure in wisdom skilled intelligent there is none among them defective in wisdom for their views are similarly taken up i do not say this is correct as the fools in pairs say to one another they all take their own view to be true therefore they consider the opponent a fool that which some say is true correct others say is hello false having contended thus they dispute why don't ascetics speak in unison truth indeed is one there is no second a person who understands this would not dispute these proclaim their own diverse truths therefore ascetics do not speak in unison but why do they assert diverse truths those proponents who claim to be skilled are those truths actually many and diverse or do they follow a line of reasoning truths surely are not many and diverse except by mistakenly perceiving permanent things in the world but having formulated reasoning about views they assert the dayard true and false the seen heard good behavior and observances the sensed dependent on these he shows disdain based on a judgment derisive he says the opponent is a fool unskilled as he considers the opponent a fool on the same ground he describes himself as skilled of his own accord claiming himself skilled he disdain the others yet speaks in the same way inflated by that extremist view intoxicated with conceit thinking himself perfect on his own accord he has mentally anointed himself for that view of his is taken up in such a manner if one is deficient because of the opponent's word the opponent himself is similarly deficient in wisdom but if he is himself a master of knowledge a wise man then there is no fool among ascetics those who assert a teaching different from this to be defective have failed to reach purity thus the sectarians speak in separate ways for they are attached to their own views here only is purity they assert they say there is no purification in other teachings thus too the sectarians separately entrenched firmly assert their own way there asserting firmly his own way the opponents here could one consider a fool he himself would just provoke strife by calling his opponent a fool of impure character based on a judgment taking himself as the measure he enters upon further dispute in the world having abandoned all judgments a person does not create strife in the world